Hello and welcome to the Palmowski dealership in Bielefeld, which I believe is the largest dealership of motorhomes in northern Germany. They claim to have the largest choice of new vehicles in Germany, which I don't think is the case. But they do have this private label model, which uh, I think is the correct term to describe Exco, and it says exclusive in Europe only here and obviously it's only here because it's a private label model and so they've got 20 models in this Exco Dynamic Series uh, and they have a 120 horsepower engine with ESP, electrical windows, uh, double airbag and more. So this thing here See the shape's got that bit there stuck up, which is normally a sign that uh, there's a bed up there somewhere. There's the price, 45,683, 735 centimeters in length. And uh, the Fiat Ducato, as you saw, the base price though, 37,000 and, uh, uh, sorry, 38,000. And uh, it has some extras as well and the most expensive of which is transport. Yeah, there you go, get a vehicle without, uh, have it delivered to you without having transport added to it. And uh, driver uh, climate control, uh, 1,300. Oh, and this, what this here, this is the, the, the packet uh, optional, which includes a mobile navigation system, television, DVD player, re reversing camera, um, and and more right now uh, one thing however I would want to point out is the battery capacity and I was talking to somebody who bought one of these and the battery capacity with an 80 I think it was 80 or 90 let's give the benefit of the doubt 90 amp lead acid battery that television is not going to be working for very long with that, so I'll point that one out up front. Now, the idea of a private label is that, for example, you get shops such as Walmart or Aldi or uh, Lidl or Tesco or whatever, uh, they all have their own brands. And the idea of having an own brand is because it's cheaper, although some brands have their own brand, which is much more expensive as well. And that happens in more developed markets. For example, Sainsbury's in the UK have Taste the Difference, which is undoubtedly far better than um, uh, the, uh, the sort of the uh, non-own brand products, but it comes with a premium price with it. As far as here is concerned, you're looking at prices which are much lower and basic no thrills motorhome. For example, here we have the price you saw under 46,000, but a queen bed which uh, doesn't go up, so it's quite uh, just a fixed position queen bed. Uh, we do have under here, for example, storage as you'd expect, these beds uh, manufactured by Project 2000, and you can see them in lots of uh, vehicles. With green bed, of course. <laughs> uh, but the design is quite um, basic. So it is, of course, this no thrills uh, look at the, a vehicle. Um, here, shower. Uh, it does. It is quite high, which is a positive thing in my opinion. Uh, but with it's only got this tiny uh, drain hole, which I think in a vehicle, uh, which is a 2021 model, could be improved upon considerably. And uh, you know, putting a proper drain hole in something is not going to add much to the cost. Indeed, I don't think it'll add anything to the cost at all. Okay, uh, kitchen. Once 
once more it's got a non-domestic um, uh, drain on it and uh, I, the sh I don't know if there's a cover it comes with a cover or it doesn't come with a cover uh, a friend of mine's got one I was in her vehicle uh, a few days ago and uh, I should have done an interview with her actually about what she uh, thinks of it Um, this table will go uh, up and down, it's got three positions, and uh, which I won't be demonstrating because I've only got two hands. Uh, one nice little feature, having said a few things I'm not so keen on, is this. You've got lots of space up here, which really is quite unusual considering you're not losing much headroom at all up front so that's uh, one saving grace of it up here we've got though I mean what's the point of all this space I know in my van for three years I've had no doors on here since I did my rebuild okay I'll get around to building them in one day but uh, in a new vehicle you don't expect to see something totally empty like that and another little feature here again once more why is there a gap there like that either use the space or not use it uh, the noises you can hear are from the uh, uh, the workshop which is uh, next to the, the showroom and uh, I suppose normally you wouldn't hear them I mean I haven't heard it during the day but here today I've got in eight o'clock in the morning before anybody comes in and the object of which is to use the time to film here whilst taking it on the outside. Flying out. Now, uh, one of the other things as well as the no thrills approach. And some vehicles you, with a queen bed, you're going to get an enormous garage. In this case, uh, well, you're not really. I mean, that's basically because of the price, though. That, that, so that's going to be quite clear. Uh, that is for the awning. And as I mentioned, the queen bed doesn't move up and down. There you go. But that's the base price there eh? 36,000. XGO Dynamic. You can see this one here has got the reversing camera put onto it. And you can see some of the other vehicles which are here. The private label ones. Well, this one isn't. This is a Carado. But yeah, price sensation. And it has this other brand here, Noble Art, which is, uh, I think, it's slightly more expensive, but not a lot. Anyway, I want to try and get as many of these done as I can uh, during my stay here. Yeah, I'll just take you for a quick look at this one inside. Over cab. Sorry, not over cab. It's a, it's a low profile with a rear seat. Sorry, sorry. Was, I wasn't looking before I came in. And I'll even stick the lights on. That gives you a bit of an idea. Side, side bed with a rear facing bench. Uh, forty two and a half thousand. You know, nearly forty seven for this, and we'll have a look inside. Sort of 
German layout, uh, but an, an immediate German layout as soon as you come in through the door. And it has a bed up here as well. And there's the, the link. Okay, thanks. Okay, for watching. I hope you found that of interest. That was useful, and uh, plenty more motorhomes on my site. Uh, should you be so inclined to see them, all the best from Bielefeld, Germany.